Another video of Modern Warfare 2 Gear Up. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be making the FN Hammer. This gun is quite insane and Hammer is, I believe it stands for Heat Adaptive Modular Rifle. Very cool how this thing operates. If you guys don't know anything about it in real life, definitely look it up if anyone out there made a video on it. But this gun is very, very unique and uh, I believe this gun was last seen in Black Ops 2. If I am remembering it correctly, I'm not too sure if any other games had it. I know Modern Warfare 2019 had it. Um, well, not really this accurate, but it did have another Scar H or a Mark 17. And um, I don't think you could put a drum mag under it in that game, but in this one you can. So it's very cool. And what this gun is special for is basically being heat adaptive, just like it is in the name. So when the gun gets too hot, I believe it switches from a closed bolt to an open bolt. And it's very, very cool. I've never seen or heard of a weapon do that before. There might be one out there, but this is the only one that I know of personally. So let's get right into it. So let's go ahead and take a look around it quick. So it's pretty, pretty nice. I didn't know you could zoom in. Uh, until now so there's a little zoomed in version there's no preview for this one you can't play an animation for some reason so unfortunately I couldn't do that but let's go let's go ahead and get into the attachments now the only thing that's throwing this gun off immediately is something you guys probably notice that is the rear pistol grip here we're running the demo clean shot grip and the reason for that is for the ADS speed unfortunately this gun ADS is way too slow if I don't put a stop uh, a rear grip on I know the green throws it off a little bit, the olive green, but it's the only one that improves ADS speed. Unless we throw on a laser, which you can do as well. I just didn't want to do that because I just, I don't know, personally I, I don't want to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get straight into the build here. So right on top here, we've got the hammer optic. I believe Leopold or Leupold um, hammer. Very cool that they added this back into the game. I personally love it. A lot of people don't use it. I don't see people using it, but I personally use almost every optic in this game. It's just a lot of fun for me. So we're running that. Uh, we're running the 18 inch precision barrel. So this is the longest barrel that you can get for the Mark 17 in the game. And we're running the bipod V9 grip, which is basically a, uh, I, f I think they call this bipod grip in real life. I'm not too sure. I forgot what it is, but I had one in Airsoft. Uh, it was pretty cool, but it broke on me. But anyway, that's what we're running there. And then, of course, we're running the 50-round drum mag. If you guys don't want that extra weight, you could switch to the 30-round mag. But it, I feel like it kind of takes away from the whole point of the build. So I do recommend running the 50-round uh, mag. And let's go ahead and jump into the firing range. Oh, before we do that, I do have to talk about the camo. Camo is very important. Uh, because it does give the gun its look so let's say if I take off the camo Yeah, you're you know, it looks amazing in black. Don't get me wrong But the two-tone of uh, three-tone in this case, it just doesn't fit right with me So I recommend running slate or sand. I believe that's the yeah sand or slate uh, Here it is if you guys want to run maybe olive it does match the grip and it does look the best overall but I personally love sand. I think it really gives it that scar H look. Uh, or just scar in general because all the scar variants have this kind of look. Or just black color. They don't really run green. So uh, yeah, that's for the camo. Let's go ahead and jump into firing range. And as always, weapon inspection, shooting, reloading, without commentary. Enjoy. Alright guys, so let's try out the recoil and the damage. We're going to slap it in semi for a second. Make sure to put our bipod grip down and aim for the head. 
Might have to reset these last two. Let's go ahead and do that. Two shots to the head from all ranges. Pretty nuts. Well, at least to 50 uh, yards or 50 meters, I mean. Let's go ahead and switch to full auto. So recoil is quite insane here. Uh, of course, you know, it's expected with a full auto 762. And just a little <laughs> inspection there to see the two rounds, one in the chamber. And let's go ahead and stand and control the recoil. It's manageable, and if you want, you could uh, practice it because it's very, it's an effective weapon. And I use this in Warzone, not exactly the same setup, but a very similar setup without the optic, and it is a shredder. This gun is insanely overpowered. I highly recommend it, uh, but this is more of a multiplayer setup, more for ground war, invasion, whatever you like. Not really much for Warzone because it's too heavy, but if you guys want, you could opt for no optics and maybe a smaller stock, uh, and then you guys could, you know, definitely speed things up. But again, this takes away from the whole purpose, uh, so we're not going to equip that. We actually can't equip the short stock for some odd reason. Not too sure if that's a bug, but yeah, this is the whole build, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I did accidentally take off the tune here. I forgot to show you guys the tune. This one's all the way far. This one goes all the way to ADS speed. The rest of them, so this grip here, we're looking at sprint to fire and ADS speed. That's mainly our focus here. If you guys want more recoil steadiness, by all means, turn it up. But I went for ADS speed because the gun is already so bulky. For the grip, we're able to do ADS speed without sacrificing anything except for hip fire, which we don't need. And then, of course, for the barrel, max damage and recoil steadiness. If you guys want to go for ADS, again, go for it. But this gun is not meant for running around, jumping around corners. More for being uh, stationary. And you could still run cover to cover. Uh, I'm not, you know, saying camp the whole game. But you do have to be standing still or mounted to use this gun. So, anyway, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay tuned for more gear videos and peace out.